not that there's anything specifically special about everyday materials, but I was initially drawn to them because they were easily accessible, inexpensive, and mass produced. I work to a point that the material transcends itself and it creates a, a gestalt of sorts. I'm generally drawn to materials that have a low profile in the sense that they don't have a, a very identifying color or marking on them. I'm initially drawn to translucent or light reflective materials. What happens with the light and the interaction between the material and the light is partially what activates the sculpture. I mean, they're all very activated by the movement of your body. I think inspiration is a joke. I think real artists sit down and get to work. Do people think that you know, it just kind of comes from the sky and hits me. I work very much like a scientist or architect in the studio. I sort of clean everything up, isolate the material, and then perform experiments with it. Um, it's, it's a very playful act. I never make drawings or sketches. Um, I feel very much as though the sculptures are a bit like drawings themselves. The pieces can expand and compress given the architectural particulars of each location. So um, they're very flexible and malleable in that way. I don't really think of them as decorative. I think that there's something magical that happens in the work that happens for me in the studio and then hopefully happens for the viewer the first time they see the work. I think art is its different for everyone. But it's different for every viewer and it's different for every artist. My intention in my work and my investigation and curiosity is really based on providing a challenge for myself to figure out what I can make things do and what I can discover and simply relying on the nature of something, the physical peculiarity or particularness of any given thing. It, I'm not trying to make comments on, you know, mass-produced items or, or the environment or nature per se. I feel like my work, in a sense, it, it's mimicking the ways of nature, not necessarily mimicking nature. There's a reason most of the works are untitled. I got to a point where I felt like titling them kind of pigeonholed them into a very specific uh, idea and that that's not at all what my intent is. I, I want people to bring their own associations to it and feel what they feel and experience what they experience from their life. <laughs>